Joshua chapter 1 Now after the death of Moses, the servant of the Lord, it came to pass that the Lord spake unto Joshua, the son of Nun, Moses' minister, saying, Moses, my servant, is dead. Now therefore arise, go over this Jordan, and thou and all his people unto the land which I do give to them, even to the children of Israel. Every place that the sole of your foot shall tread upon, that have I given unto you, as I said to Moses. From the wilderness and this Lebanon, even unto the great river, the river Euphrates, all the land of the Hittites, and unto the great sea toward the going down of the sun, shall be your coast. There shall not any man be able to stand before thee all the days of thy life, as I was with Moses. So I will be with thee, I will not fail thee, nor forsake thee. Be strong and of a good courage, for unto this people shalt thou divide for an inheritance the land, which I swear unto their fathers to give them. Only be thou strong and very courageous, that thou mayest observe to do according to all the law, which Moses my servant commanded thee. Turn not from it to the right hand or to the left, that thou mayest prosper whithersoever thou goest. This book of the law shall not depart out of thy mouth, but thou shalt meditate therein day and night, that thou mayest observe to do according to all that is written therein, for then thou shalt make thy ways prosperous, and then thou shalt have good success. Have not I commanded thee, be strong and of a good courage, be not afraid, neither be thou dismayed, for the Lord thy God is with thee whithersoever thou goest. Then Joshua commanded the officers of the people, saying, Pass through the host, and command the people, saying, Prepare your victuals, for within three days you shall pass over this Jordan, to go to possess the land, which the Lord your God giveth you to possess it, and to the Reubenites, and to the Gadites, and to the half of the tribe of Manasseh, spake Joshua, saying, Remember the word which Moses the servant of the Lord commanded you, saying, The Lord your God hath given you rest, and hath given you this land. Your wives, your little ones, and your cattle shall remain in the land which Moses gave you on this side, Jordan. But you shall pass before your brethren armed, all the mighty men of valor, and help them, until the Lord have given you brethren rest, as he hath given you. And they also have possessed the land which the Lord your God giveth them. Then you shall return unto the land of your possession, and enjoy it, which Moses the Lord's servant gave you on this side toward and toward the sun rising. And they answered Joshua, saying, Who that thou commandest to us we will do, and whithersoever thou sendest us we will go. According as we hearkened unto Moses in all things, so will we hearken unto thee. Only the Lord thy God be with thee, as he was with Moses. Whosoever he be that doth rebel against thy commandment, and will not hearken unto thy words in all that thou commandest him, he shall be put to death. Only be strong and of a good courage. Joshua chapter 1 is well known because of the encouragement that God assured Joshua now that he will possess the land together with the Israelites. The book of Joshua is started after the death of Moses, where Joshua was called by the Lord to fulfill the promises that God has given to Moses. Now, if we are going to put ourselves in this book, uh, this is considered as the Acts as compared in the New Testament. No? From Genesis, Exodus, Leviticus, Numbers, Deuteronomy, and then here comes Joshua. You know, fulfillment of the five books. If you are going to put ourselves into this time at the time of Joshua, it may break through because this is the time wherein God is fulfilling His promise. You know, yung pagpasok sa promised land where there is abundance, there are blessings at the same time in our lives makikita natin yung mga bagay na hindi natin nakikita pa yung hindi natin inaasahan and then God is going to give it to us so what 
are we going to do? We just need to obey. Sabi nga doon sa verse 8 na ating nabasa, we need to obey and we need to be very courageous. We need to obey the Lord's commandment for us to see the blessings that God is giving to us. We need to observe God's law, God's commandment. Pag sinabi ng Panginoon, we need to minister, we need to do this, we need to do that. We need to obey Him. Because in obedience, there is always a blessing.